going on guys? So here we are with the 2008 Monaco Mark. This is what G and I are going to be living out of next summer up in Alaska. So just a quick view of the outside. Everything that you're seeing right here on the bottom is all storage. Some of it is uh, different types of stuff. Uh, for example, I don't know if he locked it back up, he didn't. So we got the vacuum cleaner, central vacuum cleaner, propane tank. It is a uh, 20 gallon tank. The fuel fill. Got two auxiliary batteries. Uh, in the future, I want to switch this up to a solar system. Have four batteries, maybe even more, depends on what system I get. Probably go with four, but for right now, we're just going to use shore power storage. Monaco Monarch has a full fiberglass back cap. You can see right up there. That is actually a rear view camera. And uh, it's one piece, um, no leaks. The roof is all fiberglass as well. One piece fiberglass roof, which is pretty important. So you can see it does have one full slide on this guy. Down here, more storage. Also has the uh, water valve, it's kind of dark in there. Sorry about that, but uh, go ahead and close that. This is my new uh, black water, white water tank. This is where you uh, turn everything off to your shore water. And also it has a solid waste tank flush. So you can actually plug in a hose and then uh, hook that hose up and it has an internal pump in there that actually clears out your, your black water tank. Under here is more storage, different things. It's kind of dark back here. This is my Onan generator. As I said, it is kind of kind of dark. It has 350 hours on it. It's a MicroLite 4000. More storage. More storage. Um, going around to the front, it has these front mount rear view mirrors. It has a very large one piece windshield, which would be awesome for driving around has the Ford V10 engine it's a three valve and these guys right here are the uh, actual uh, camera so whenever you turn your right or left turn signal on for example I turn my passenger signal uh, turn light on there's a camera there it actually shows up in an on-screen display inside the, uh, the camper um, part of the deal buying this RV I actually got some new tires uh, the tires were original in 2007's Tom Raper RV actually hooked me up with some some new tires at no, just, no additional cost. So let's go to the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording. I'm going to change the light settings and be right back. So here we are in the interior of the new camper. So we have a convection microwave oven. Uh, that's basically our stove. We have a three burner burner kit. We have a very deep sink. I believe it's a uh, new faucet as well. We're gonna be doing a lot of cooking in this bad boy. Lots and lots of storage, absolutely everywhere. This is a very spacious RV, especially with the uh, with the slide out right here. And all that up top is all storage. Right down here underneath the dinette is all storage. And also we have the couch here. This couch is actually a pull-out couch, the blow-up mattress. Right now the slide out is out. So it looks even bigger in here right now. But whenever we actually uh, bring that in, whenever we're driving down the road, it is a lot smaller. But you're still able to get to the bathroom and you're still able to get back to the back bedroom, which is really important. Here is the front cockpit. So as I said, it has the Ford V10 engine. This is that, <clears throat> that on-screen camera where you can see behind you to the left and the right. Has a serious CD player, probably switching that guy out so I can hook uh, my iPhone, iPod, all that good stuff into it. Side view, not side, well, we can talk about the side view mirrors. Um, right up front, as I said, um, when I test drove it, you could see absolutely everything. What you couldn't see, very quickly check with your screen right here. It has 14,000 miles. Very low miles, transmission shifts awesome. 
It does have a bunch of different stuff that I'll never use, like this TV probably. It does have a DVD player, hooks up to satellite, hooks up to uh, shore power uh, cable, which I'll never use probably. Lots of storage up top as well. All through here. Very comfortable leather seats. It'll be a lot more comfortable than driving Zep up, I'll tell you that. And also we have a auto leveling system. So I press a button, the RV goes up on jacks and it levels itself out. So wherever we're at, it'll actually level itself out. Very, very awesome. So continuing along, have a very nice size freezer and fridge. We do have bay heat, which means during the colder times of the year, we'll actually be able to heat the undercarriage and be able to have our, our water tanks going. Won't be any problem at all. Um, this is the different views that we have in terms of uh, tanks, the charge, the LP, um, gas, which is our, our propane water heater. Um, it has a 10 gallon tank, which is awesome. Uh, thermostat, we also have a roof in as well. So, moving into the bathroom, let me go ahead and turn this light on. The new bathroom. It's like the size of something out of a small apartment, in my opinion. Got a nice toilet. Actually, got a shower, which would be pretty different. Be able to stand up and shower compared to what it was like in Zep. So, have a nice large shower. Lots of cabinet space in here as well. Every single inch that they could have used is used in this RV. Got a large closet space, once again, this is kind of dark right now, but a very, very large closet. And back to the bedroom. Queen size bed, great window view out the side, lots of storage up top, more cabinet space, got a TV, honestly, I'm probably going to take this thing out. Look at all that storage, that is absolutely crazy. This is probably larger than the apartment we had in Seward right before we left, like square footage wise besides the laundry room. So, this is the new home. This is it. This is what we're gonna be living out of. Um, thanks for everybody that's watched the channel, everybody that's supported the channel. I don't know if I'm in focus or, or not, it might be a little crazy right now. But uh, thanks for everybody that supported the channel, helped the channel. This RV wouldn't be happening without you guys, without the the YouTube community, without people continuously motivating me and trying to make the channel better and continuously travel. Um, it definitely wouldn't be without everybody watching this right now. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Catch you later.